This is Who Killed Bigfoot, the demo version, by Luna Radu. This is the dev behind uh, Cultivating Happiness from this year's O2A2 jam. And that was our first game, which is utterly fantastic, by the way. So this is another, this is a uh, spooky Halloween murder mystery. A demo, too, so it's cool, it's cool to see. And I'm moving on to a, a bigger project. I'm really excited to see what's, what comes out of this. Now this, our uh, adorable main character on the title screen here is, has the, uh, the best Phoenix Wright style name possible. Lucy Leeds. Who just so happens to be, oddly enough, an accountant for e Evo Pharmaceuticals. And this game takes place at her first Halloween party, where uh, a body is discovered, and given that she's turned up to the Halloween party in a detective costume, naturally, she's going to step up to uh, investigate the case. Now can we see... Let's see what uh, Halloween has in store for us. October 31st, 20XX. I have all the same routine every morning. I wake up at 6.30 a.m., get dressed, eat my burgers of eggs and toasts, sometimes with avocado, ooh, bougie. Make some coffee with milk and sugar to go, and check the latest financial news on the way to work. Two months into my, two months into my job with Evo Pharmaceuticals, I've gotten used to the average life of an office worker. No more sleeping until noon after binging British dramas all night. No more gummy worm corn... Gummy worm corn flakes. Wow. No more gummy worm corn flakes for breakfast. On my favorite holiday of the year, where I'd usually be shoveling down candy and watching cheesy horror movies with my sister and friends, I'll instead be staying late at work for my first ever office Halloween party. And there. Oh! Oh, well, that's precious! I look just like one of the world's greatest detectives. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm dressed to impress. That's better. Raring to go and ready for a productive work day. Hell yeah. Love to see it. When I step on the train, no one else is wearing a costume. Yeah. Guess it is uh, pretty early in the morning. They must all work at more boring places that don't encourage people to wear costumes to work. And if it's just me wearing a costume at the office, I might die of embarrassment. Look at my phone to avoid meeting anyone's gaze, pulling up my go-to news site. Huh? Big breaking news story features a name I'm not familiar I'm more familiar with. I'm more than familiar with, sorry. A scientist at Evo Pharmaceuticals has been arrested for stealing samples of the highly potent Evogen X drug from the lab he worked in. That uh, Kyle Summers was taken into custody at about 8 p.m. last night, according to police officials. A spokesperson for the Evo Development Laboratory says the samples were first noticed missing several hours earlier. Careful analysis of security footage showed Mr. Summers encasing a container in protective wrapping and placing it in his satchel. Why they never realized that they're on camera? Just two days after its initial trial began, testing of Evogen X was halted due to the emergence of dangerous and potentially deadly side effects. Scientists have been working to make the drug safe for consumption before trials can ensue once more. But the motive of Mr. Summers in removing the still dangerous sample from the lab is currently unknown. Yikes. The failure of the trial run was already bound to put a huge dent in financials this quarter. This is going to drive that even further. I'm surprised this story got out to, fresh, out to the press so fast. I guess corporate wants to avoid any scandals that might come from hiding something like this. I mean, my experience of, uh... Corporate communication seems to be that, uh... Yeah, if it's in their best interest to put it out there, then they're gonna put it out there. But, yeah, they usually wouldn't put, uh, put that out there until they're sure they have everything in hand. I'm working to work right on time. Oh, that's cool. Hi, Tom! I flash my badge at the security guard behind the desk. It's Tom Watts today, one of the, one of the youngest guards. Oh. He seems nice, though somewhat overzealous. The way he interrogated a poor yum hub driver was once once was pretty insane. Lucy Leeds! What a wonderful costume! Are you excited for your first office Halloween? Sure am. 
You're not wearing any costume today? Uh, the company, company policy says we guards have to stay in uniform. I got this little ghost pin, though, to get in the spirit. But huh? <laughs> At least Casper appreciates my ghost puns. Is it you two on shift today? Yep, it'll be a great one for sure, I'm sure. Well, see you later. Have a beautiful day. Hey, that was worse than mine. Yeah, you. Laughing, I take the elevator to the elevator to the fourth floor. I adjust my costume and prepare to enter the financial office. As I push the door open, nobody else is in costume. Ah, boo! Yeah. Uh, Angus. <laughs> That's me. Huh. Do I look great? You're the, you're the most ripped Bigfoot I've ever seen. Uh, well, your costume's definitely realistic. I thought I was about to be attacked by an ape. I'm not an ape, I'm Bigfoot. That cool hairy dude who lives in the woods. Isn't one of those theories that Bigfoot sightings could be of some ape species? Oh man, I never thought of that. Could be. Let's go in, I want to get some desk push-ups in before work. Yeah. <laughs> Plot twist, the Bigfoot, su the Bigfoot suit's actually form-fitting, and Angus is just that friggin' ripped. <laughs> There's one thing I've learned about Angus Porter since I started working here, it's that he never runs out of energy. He's always working out and drinking an endless stream of protein shakes. It can be exhausting just watching him. As we enter the office, I meet with another, a far less energetic face. Ah, uh, oh. Good morning, Salem. Happy Halloween. Oh, I like you already. Happy Halloween. I'm still a little... It's like going for a frat party to a funeral. I like your makeup. Did you do that? Did you do that yourself? Yes. Cool. <laughs> Goodbye. They walk away without another word. I still haven't learned much about Salem fairs. They don't like to talk much. I think they're shy, but it's possible they just hate everyone. Ah, Miss Leeds, Mr. Porter. Good morning. Or perhaps, in fitting with my attire, I should say good evening. Good evening, Miss Chen. Good morning, Miss Chen. I love your costume. Well, thank you, Miss Leeds. Yours suits you nicely as well. Thank you. Ah, oh, she complimented my she complimented my costume. Miss Chen is such a great manager, so competent and poised. A true girl boss. I still don't know her first name. I think she told me when we when we met, but I was so nervous I didn't pay attention, and now I'm too afraid to ask. It seems Mr. Johnson is it seems Mr. Johnson is late. I wish I could say I'm surprised. Where's Cherry? Miss Green, Mrs. Green is on medical leave today. Oh, I hope she's okay. I feel like Cherry Green has been out of the office more than she's been in since I started here. She's fairly older, so I guess it makes sense to have a lot of medical issues. And she sure does have them. That's all she talks about. My bones! I, <laughs> I feel like I know someone exactly like that. Ten minutes past the start of the workday, the last member of our team finally walks through the door. Hey, losers. Whoa, everyone's all dressed up, huh? I miss a memo or something. Don't worry, Dave. You're dressed up like the manager from Office Space. Mr. Johnson, you finally arrived. I'm not keen to have another conversation about tardiness at the moment. Now I remind you to check your work email and smack notifications. You did, it seems, miss the memo about costumes for Halloween. Hey now, I, ah, dang, I mean, I totally saw that. I just had a different kind of costume in mind. Give me a sec. <laughs> Dave goes to his chest, rips a piece of paper from his notebook, and scribbles something onto it before taking it to his chest. There we go, now I'm all costumed up. Um, what are you exactly? A formal apology. I find it hard to believe Dave Johnson has ever been apologetic in his life. He seems to have gotten this job thanks to his uncle's recommendation, his uncle being the CEO of Evo Pharmaceuticals. Can't say he's my favorite co-worker. He shook my hand with a shock buzzer on it. The first day of work, I'd put whipped cream in my chair the day after. But I guess it could be worse. Stop wasting time and get to work. I have no qualms delaying today's party if the productivity is subpar. Yeah, yeah, ma'am. 
One more announcement. I'm sure many of you heard the news about the arrest at for Evo Pharmaceuticals Laboratory. This matter is still being investigated, and the company is yet to make an official statement, so I don't want to see any of you speculating. If anything makes it onto social media, there will be consequences. We'll be having a conference call on Monday to discuss the impact on quarterly profits as the data develops. Till then, focus on your assigned analyses and write-ups. Yes, ma'am. The day's work passes quickly. There's an excitement in the air. It's the anticipation of a party keeping morale high. It's pretty fun working in a costume. That's a bit of spice to the typical office experience. I don't think I could handle living and working in an office with that little separation from people. I have no idea how Angus is typing with that costume covering his hands, but somehow he is. I whizzed through my data sets, and before long, it's finally 4.30. Well, normally we get out at 5 anyways. Every other department in the building went home early, and we're the only ones staying late. Miss Chan really wanted to make sure we got our work done. Work for the day done. I'm fine sacrificing my after-work period drama to make a good impression. Alright, party time. Everyone follows Miss Chen into the break room. Which I'm not sure what to expect, but when I'm greeted with some corporate-approved Halloween music from a Bluetooth speaker and table spread with Halloween-themed food, it feels just right. Everyone can thank Mr. Porter for most of the food. Chia! Check out the sick spread. Got some mummy hot dogs, devilish eggs, pumpkin chili, ooh. Bacon wrapped shrimp, just because I love that man. Spiderweb pizza and a bunch of spooky desserts. Wow, did you make all this? Nah, I bought it. I can't cook. <laughs> Is anything vegan? Oh, dang, I forgot about that. Oh, I'm sorry, Salem. Uh, you can eat the pizza, right? That doesn't have meat. Uh, um, veganism includes no animal products like cheese. Really? Dang, bro, that sucks. Well, more for me. <laughs> sorry, Salem. Hmm, there are some foods you can eat here, Miss, miss Fairs. Although Mr. Mrs. Mrs. Green is unable to make it, she was sure to drop off some of her famous cupcakes, and she made a vegan cupcake for you. We'll take this chance to celebrate your birthday as well. Oh shit, it's your birthday? Oh, it's your birthday, Salem? Yesterday. Why don't you say anything? Happy birthday! Don't want the attention. Okay, they're just shy. <laughs> can see why, as in the next moment, Dave's thinks his arm around their shoulder. Dave, no. Bad Dave. Oh, Salem, Salem, gloomy little witch. Didn't know it was your birthday. Why aren't you just a witch anyways with a name like Salem? Or a mummy, aren't you Egyptian or something? Uh, Dave, get out of here. Mr. John said one more comment like that, and I'm reporting you. You're making mis making affairs uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, I'd like you to actually report me. Whatever. Oh. Oh, Dave. He holds his eyes and moves away from Salem. They look like they want to punch him, and I can't blame them. I kind of want to, too. We'll discuss this later. For now, let's enjoy the part. Did we have to invite Dave? Miss Lee, could you, could you grab the lighter? Oh, sure! Lighter, I think it's from one of the cabinets above the counter. Here you go. Thank you. Miss Chen lights a candlestick. A large orange cup stuck in a large orange cupcake with black icing and ghost sprinkles. Oh, that's pretty! Everyone sings happy birthday while Salem looks like they want to disappear. That's done. They take the cupcake to the corner of the room, as far from everyone else as possible. Also, if, if that office environment is really so tightly grouped as it seemed in that screenshot, even if it's just a stock screenshot, that is terrifying for poor Salem. So as a Salem, they seem like the type who'd be most productive, uh, just in a room by themselves or in a cubicle outside of normal office traffic where they could just do their thing without interruption. Excellent. Now it's time for an office favorite. Office, office favorite. Taking the tail on the werewolf. Miss Leeds, as our newest hire, I believe it's only fitting for you to have the first attempt. Uh, me? Ah, good idea. Get the blindfold. Dave, no. I'm t I don't have time to protest as I've lived to stand in front of a crude drawing of a werewolf. Uh oh. Me. <laughs> Minigame time. Click, click, click. Click, click, click. Blindfold is tied across my eyes, and a furry tail with a pushpin is stuffed in my hand. Spin her around! Dave, no. Is it alright if I put my hand on your shoulder, Miss Leeds? Uh, oh, sure. Excellent. Now spin. Spin? Um, okay. Spin! I spin in circles a few times before a hand on my shoulder steadies me. 
Pin that tail. Pin that tail. Pin that tail. Could they be more out of sync? Come on, guys. I blindly stumble forward with my arms out. To the right. To the right. Don't tell her where to go, idiot. Shut up, Dave. Yeah. Oh, to the left. To the left. Right it is. Find the edge of the poster on the wall and estimate where the tail is supposed to go, pinning it on. Did I get it? Let's see. Take the blindfold off. I managed to get it right next to the werewolf butt, just a centimeter away. An excellent attempt. Who wants to go next? Mr. Ferez? No, thanks. Oh. Eh. That's okay, Salem. Game, the games continue until just before 5 o'clock. I'll go set up the movie now. We're watching Eyeline. No snacks are allowed in the conference room, so eat your fill now. As soon as Miss Chen leaves the room, Dave approaches. What's your costume, anyway? Some kind of old-timey detective? Just any detective. One of the greatest, Sherlock Holmes. Oh, you, you like those kinds of mystery stories? I love them. I always wanted to be a detective. Actually, I was planning to get a job in forensic accounting, but the certification requires a lot of experience, and I needed a job in the meanwhile. But I really like it here, so I might stick with this for a while. Really? You'd like this kind of work? Um, yes? Whatever. Anyway, I got a mystery for you. Beckons for everyone to come closer. Angus and I lean in. Sam stays in their corner of the room, watching from a distance. You know how some scientist guy was arrested for smuggling Eurogen excess samples? I bet you don't know this. My dad told me the samples haven't been found. Huh? The drugs are missing? That's right. Now I'm thinking the guy sold them in the black market. The side effects can be killers. So maybe some assassins could use it as poison. Maybe they can do some kind of weird human experimenting to make their own, even deadlier drugs. Didn't I say I didn't want to hear any speculation about the recent incident? We all jump as Miss Chen and silently enters the room. I guiltily scratch my head. Ah, come on. It's more like telling a ghost story. It's Halloween, after all. That's enough of that. Come, everyone. Let's not watch a movie that truly embodies the Halloween spirit. Miss Chen in that suit is... Excellent. <laughs> That's a beautiful cost. Beautiful costume. This conference room is wild. But it's that glass wall. Make our way to the conference room. I sit across from Miss Chen in the front table while Salem sits in the far back corner and Angus and Dave take the middle. Must say I've seen this movie before and it's kind of boring. It's aimed at a younger audience, so it's appropriate for an office party, but it's not scary enough for my tastes. It's time we're going to be focused and engaged. I to show Miss Chen that I'm a diligent employee who pays attention to every detail. Yes, forensically analyze this, uh, movie. If I didn't think anyone could be scared by this movie, about ten minutes in... Man, this is scary! Those weird eyes are freaking me out! Gotta burn off the fear with a quick rap. Angus leaves the room, to work, the room to work out, and Dave follows shortly after him. Oh, that's sus. A little while, a little while later, Salem gets up too. Uh, oh. Just me and Miss Chen left left in the room. Oh? I just gonna feel bad. This is probably your favorite movie. And we're all just kinda Yeah. Before I can get nervous about that, Angus returns. Guess he's just gotten over his fear? Two minutes later, Salem comes back in with a bowl of illegal popcorn. Oh, sneaky. I like it. Right after they sit down... Huh? Did the lights just go out? Hmm. It seems they did. They're not supposed to turn off until much later. Miss Chen gets up, and since she's going, I'm going. follow her into the main office, where she picks up the phone at her desk. After a few seconds, she frowns, pressing the few, a few buttons before hanging up the phone. That's odd. The phone isn't working either. Is there anything I can do? No, you stay and enjoy the movie. I'm going to go down to the front desk. Power, power the lights is, are off. Power the phones are off. But conference room TV is still on. How does that work? She leaves out the office door. See, I don't really want to watch the movie. 
I'll just sit at my desk and look at memes until she gets back. Well, maybe... Computers might work if they're just laptops. Oh! About 15 minutes after the lights went off, they came back on. Miss Chan returns a minute later. Oh, Miss Leeds, you're not watching the movie? Oh, well, I was going to, but I wanted to wait for you to make sure everything was okay. That's very thoughtful of you. Everything seems to be alright. There was just an issue with the automatic timer for our floor's lights. Let's return to the movie. We shouldn't have missed much. With how slow the pacing of the flick is, I don't doubt it. Go back to the conference room. But only Salem is sitting there. Huh? Where did Dave and Angus go? Salem shrugs. I'm sure Mr. Johnson wrote Mr. Porter in another one of his pranks. I'll look for them. I'll help. Exit the comfort room and look around. It's the least likely place to find someone. It would be good for setting up a prank. Probably the storage closet. Push open the door. Huh? Angus? Uh oh. Angus? He's not moving. Is he pretending to be unconscious to scare me? The thought mine I approach preparing to be suddenly grabbed. That's enough. This isn't a very funny prank. There's no movement, even as I stand right in front of him. His chest isn't moving. I can't hear any breathing. Maybe there's no one in there at all. I reach down to pull off the mask. And the world turns upside down. Dave? Oh my... Oh my god! Oh no. Before my brain can, ca can catch up, a scream rips from my throat. I drop the Bigfoot mask on the ground and stumble back. The steps pound down the hallway and Miss Chen appears at the door, Salem trailing behind her. Miss Leeds, what is... Mr. Johnson? What on earth is going on here? Uh, is he... dead? Miss Chen rushes to check Dave's pulse. She's quiet for a long moment. Can't hear anything but the dull buzz in my head. Miss Fair, Miss Fairs, run down to the front desk and tell them Dave Johnson is deceased. M me But... Go! Salem runs off, seeming more scared of Miss Chen than the body. Body? Dave is actually dead! Pull yourself together, Lucy Leeds. How can you be helpful right now? Where's Angus? Did you find him? The bathroom door is locked, but no one responded to my knocking. Fearing the worst, I ran over to the break room and banged on the door. Angus, are you in there? Silence. Please, please, come out. This isn't a joke. Dave is dead. Finally, the, finally there's a shuffling sound. The door opens. Uh-huh. Dog? For real? What? What? This is not the time, Angus. Why are you pogging? Why is Angus in his boxers? Why are you pogging, Angus? No time for that right now. I'm just glad he's okay. Really, come on. Do not pog at me, young man. I, re I led him back to the. I lead him back to the hall. Salem returns a moment later. Behind them is Tom. What's the situation? I explain everything to him. From the lights turning off to how I found Dave's body, his face grows more and more dim. Dim, grim. I see. The police have been called. It might take them a while to get here, since Halloween's usually pretty crazy. But for now, no one is allowed to leave this office. Please hand in your cell phones. Why? If we know what happened, like we can't let this incident get out to the public. Plus, someone could delete evidence from their cell phones. Evidence? D do you mean? That's right. At this moment, every one of you is a suspect in a potential murder case. Huh? D d do you mean Dog was murdered? Ang Ang Angus. Uh. You don't know that. It's very possible he could have been injured himself in an attempt to play some sort of prank. Whatever the truth may be, may be, until we know for sure, everyone's involvement has to be considered. Everyone passes in their phones, which Tom puts in a Ziploc bag. Possible murder. Everyone here is a suspect. Certainly didn't expect this to be how my first office Halloween party went. Before the police get here, I'll be, I'll be conducting a preliminary investigation. Let me help! Miss Leeds? Oh yeah, aren't you into mystery stuff? Well, it's different in real life, but yes, I believe I possess skills that can be of use in a situation like this. Besides, Tom could be considered a suspect too, right? He's been in the building this whole time. 
Hmm, I guess that is true. So if there is any foul play, letting one person investigate alone could lead to tampering with the crime scene. Oh, determined. I see. Very well, Mr. Watts, please allow Miss Leeds to aid assist your investigation. Fine with me, just don't touch anything. I'll be careful. Let's start by examining the storage room. You think you, you, think you can handle it? I can do it. There's a chance to really prove myself to Miss Chen and to everyone. I'll show what I'm capable of. It's no offense to Tom, but I don't know how good he'd be, he'd be at handling interrogations by himself. What I've seen of his interactions with innocent delivery workers, I'm not sure he knows how to tactfully get information out of people without intimidating them. It's going to be difficult, but I want to learn the truth of what happened to Dave. And if someone did kill him, I need to find out who it was before anyone else gets hurt. Tom and I entered the storage room. God, Dave is really dead, isn't he? Just an hour ago, he was cracking jokes and being vaguely, uh, inappropriate, but... Pull yourself together, Lucy. The best thing you can do for him is to figure out what happened. Alright, alright, I'm, I'm feeling it. These shelves have a lot of files, books, and a source of, of knickknacks that look like they haven't been touched in years. This shelf has a lot of old books and files. There's one section dating back to 1997. It doesn't look like, doesn't look like they've been touched in years. But there's a shelf of trophies from various company events and employee achievement awards. Best Evo Finance branch in the Eastern Region. Pretty sure the competition there is slim, but it's nice that we won. There's also... That's odd. Looks like this black trophy was moved recently. How can you tell? The dust around it has been disturbed. Everything else is coated in it, but this one looks clean. I go to pick up the trophy, but Tom stops me. No disturbing the evidence. Right, right, at least it at least looks pretty heavy. The trophy next to it seems like part of the same set. Did a piece fall off this trophy? Huh. Does seem that way. There's a lot of, there's a lot of books here. Most of which aren't even relevant to finance or pharmaceuticals. Maybe they were gifts from clients, or just things people left in here. Otherwise... Hmm? Looks like the dust was disturbed on the shelf not long ago, but nothing seems to have been moved. Maybe Dave stumbled into the shelves before he fell. These shelves have a lot of storage containers, files, and old gifts from clients and shareholders that, been, that hadn't been displayed in a long time. There's a vent up there. Maybe someone could have climbed through. Climbed through to kill Dave and escape. Impossible. Those vents are too small to fit any human. How do you know? Maybe someone rolled a bowling ball through there. And uh, arranged a trophy on uh, top of the shelf there to direct the bowling ball down onto Tom's head. Uh, actually, when I got this job, I examined every inch of the building, including the vents. I couldn't fit my shoulders through the entrance. You tried to climb through the vents. Hmm... I just climb up and take a peek in. I would disturb the crime scene. Really? I guess that would affect the dust everywhere. In any case, it seems the only way sh someone could have gotten in and out of the storage room is through the door. Over here... Looks like something fell on the ground. Some kind of orb? Sphere? But it's evidence. Tom pulls out a plastic bag and carefully scoops it in. I guess that's one way to do it. Look at that trophy and sphere set together. Looks like it's a match. Oh, orb fell off of trophy? That thing came off the trophy and rolled under the shelf? Right. It's likely this, that this was the cause of death. Killer swung it at Dave's head. The orb rolled off and they put it back on the shelf. They must not have, they must not have had time to put the trophy back together. Trophy! Oh shit, can we... Is there a place to see evidence we collected? We can certainly save, though. You have a lot to touch the body. We can't, deserve, we can't disturb the crime scene. Right, I'm just gonna take a look. I lean in closer to look at Dave's body. I'm surprised how calm I am about it. There's some blood on the side of his head. In the position, I'd guess he was probably attacked from the front with something swung from the right. We need to find someone right-handed. Unfortunately, everyone in the office is a righty. 
Oh, uh, that makes things harder. Is he bludgeoned? Stabbed? I don't see any entry wounds. Looks like he was hit with something hard. Probably still while wearing the mask. What do you think that? There's blood on the inside of the mask that matched the spot of blood on his head. Let's see. If he was hit outside the costume, there would be blood splatter everywhere. Right, the question is... How did he end up wearing Angus's Bigfoot costume in the first place? Bigfoot costume, head wound. I think that's everything we can get from this room. Looks like Dave really was murdered. The trophy isn't heavy or high enough to... high up enough to have killed him by accident, and someone had to have put it back on the shelf. So it is a murder. In that case, it's time to investigate the rest of the office. We'll also have to interrogate the suspects and question them about any evidence we find. However, we'll have to wait for the full game for that. Thanks for playing the demo. You're welcome, Lucy. wonder if there is going to be some option to review evidence in the menu as things go along. What's well, interesting? The full game is going to have, let's see, four suspects involved here. A big twist plus multiple endings. Awesome. Five investigation rooms. Reporting two plus hours. Point and click murder mystery action. Big twist, multiple endings. I'm really curious to see how that'll go. But we got a taste of the mystery here. It seems there's a lot of, uh... It is very much the closed room here. A limited amount of interaction here, or a limited amount of uh, potential uh, what's to say? Yeah, we pretty much seems like we pretty much met everyone who's going to be involved here, unless there's more to come. Because, yeah, we just... We have everyone here for the office party. And, uh... We have Tom downstairs. That's pretty much all who, uh... Supposedly... Is in the building tonight. Unless there's, unless there's something, uh... We're not expecting. If there's more to come, we pretty much met everyone who's likely going to be involved in the case. Uh, we'll see what happens, but uh, we have the tease of a uh, the uh, theft of the samples, which Tom seemingly knew about. We have our uh, interesting, uh, intriguing cast of characters in the uh, finance department. Our, uh, I think it's safe to say that Miss Chen and Lucy are probably devoid of suspicion. And that leaves Tom, who's dead. Leaves Salem. Who? I don't think they're capable of anything like that, like this. But uh, they did leave the movie on and off before uh, Dave turned up dead. We have Angus, who uh, seems very much off his seemed very much off his rocker when we found him locked in the bathroom in his boxers with. Uh, I don't know that that look on that look on his face there <laughs> when he came out of the uh, bathroom there. It's when he was very much pogging at us. It was uh, it made me feel like he was more than a fair bit of tilted somehow in getting the costume off of there. Probably not involved, but uh, what can I say? There's a chance he uh, just. Uh, Got uh, 
convinced to uh, participate in a prank that went wrong. He uh, always had a chance that he was just was not involved whatsoever. We'll see, but uh, it does leave Tom as a potential suspect too. Lucy is right about that. And a potential... The game purports uh, four suspects to investigate, so maybe there is someone who was going to turn up in this later on. We'll see. It's an intriguing setup. Just enough to pique the interest. But very much delightful bit of charm in the office environment here. Delightful little charm. You can immediately see the uh, uh, office dynamic here. Uh, Lucy the newbie. Uh, Miss Chen the uh, reliable but stern supervisor. Uh, Dave the slacker prick. Angus the uh, overambunctious uh, overachiever. And uh, Miss Green, the absentee uh, older office lady who uh, probably needs help figuring out how Microsoft Excel works. Uh, is always talking about her kids and uh, her medical issues. Uh, you don't know one of those if you look if you've worked in an office. Let's face it, but intriguing. I'm definitely looking forward to see where this goes. Uh, Absolutely gonna play. Absolutely gonna check out the full version when that comes down, comes around down the line. Because we're in mysteries. Love them. It's charming. Of course, as of course, the uh, character designs and sprites are lovely, and the characters themselves are charming in themselves. Even if I want to smack Dave, well, someone smack Dave. That's for sure. But fair enough. That'll be all for Who Killed Bigfoot, the demo. Who Killed Bigfoot? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Speculate. And we will see when we revisit the adventures of uh, the best protagonist name I've heard in quite some time. Lucy Leeds. I love it. Love her. Fantastic. <laughs> Excellent. Beautiful. Take care. Thanks for watching, and until next time, until then.